What's up guys? Tuesday the 24th. So pretty excited about this weigh-in. I uh, actually already know, spoiler alert, I already know what I weighed in a second ago, but I could even feel going up to this day that I was going to be light, lighter than usual. And uh, you know, I'm starting to actually see physical differences. There's the front. To the back view. Okay, let's see where we're at. Well, as usual, 0.2 pounds heavier, but that's 195.8. So it was 195.6. Uh, without this, I guess, based on my phone, each weigh 2 ounces. So, or, sorry, 0.2 pounds. Maybe that, I don't know. It's too early for me. So, this is where I'm at. Do some measurements. And then uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Almost, no, not even close. Guys, so we were here at a local, uh, like a Mexican uh, car carnicería, and uh, I got a breakfast burrito, a uh, carne asada breakfast burrito, minus the onions. It's hot as hell right now, so that's why I'm not gonna bite into it yet, but. Uh, just want to introduce you guys to one of my friends, Enrique. All right, so he just got like a. Uh, he just got like a. What'd you get? Chicken and beef. Oh, just just chicken, beef, and, and what beans? Yeah, a little bit of beans. And some beans. So. What I'm gonna try to do uh, with Enrique is we're gonna try to teach him how to uh, how to um, count some macros and kind of learn how to do that. But uh, he's used to basically what I was doing before, just kind of eating every few hours and um, trying, to, trying to make just like healthier choices and, and uh, just kind of portion control, which is good. And he has a good base, but he's uh, he's really solid and he's got a lot of muscle. Um, and he's strong as hell. So getting him on macros and getting him to know exactly like what he's taking in uh, would be sick, sickening. But uh, so that's him. So hopefully we'll be seeing more of him. This is Neil, and I'm gonna dive into mine. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So we are here and uh, at Enrique's. We're at his place, and I'm gonna just teach him how to uh, how to do some of this stuff, how to do some measurements, and we've gone over it a little bit, and I have like a tutorial, um, but I just wanted to show him in person, and thought it would be a good idea to record it along the way. So here he is here's my scale, and uh, what we're gonna measure, we're just gonna measure three things, nothing too crazy, but we're gonna measure some two percent uh, Greek yogurt. Um, berries and then uh, just some cereal and then that way you guys kind of get an idea so the easiest way and then I'm gonna show you how to add it on my fitness pal this is his so if you guys want to follow him that's his uh, that's his uh, my fitness pal but all right so the easiest way to measure something in a container like Greek yogurt or uh, peanut butter uh, jelly I guess works as well is instead of putting the plate on on the scale and then measuring it out from 
uh, from the container to the plate. The best, easiest, and most accurate way to do it is just throw the container on, and we're gonna do one serving. So, all right, just so you see this too. So one serving is 220, oh, one serving is 227 grams. Okay, so 227 grams of this, which is one cup, so you could grab a cup and measure that way. Um, but it's four and a half fat, it's nine carbs, and 23 grams of protein. Okay, so we're just gonna set that down on our scale. And we just are gonna do one serving. So I'm going to turn my scale on. And it's already on grams. Uh, some scales say milliliters, uh, or have the milliliter option, you can use that. It's the same thing as grams, but it measures the same thing as grams. If it doesn't, just hit your, uh, your unit button. That would measure in ounces, but we're gonna measure in grams for this. So what we're going to do, get this plastic wrapping off. So it's on zero right now, and what we're gonna do is just basically scoop it out until, let me just, we're gonna scoop this out until it says negative 227. All right. Here, let me have you do this actually, because <laughs> I only got one hand. <laughs> Two twenty seven, right? Yeah. Yeah, so dump a little in there. And again, guys, it doesn't have to be exactly like accurate. So 226 is fine. 224 is even fine. Uh, we don't have to get 100% accurate. So now that means in this cup or in this bowl, we have measured one serving, which means we have in this serving four and a half fat, nine carbs, and 23 protein. So that's done. All right. Now what we're going to do is throw this. On. We're gonna throw this on here and let's just say we want to make this a little uh, tastier and Mix some berries in there before we do that. Let me add it on my fitness pal Okay, so this is on an iPhone. Give me a second. I have an Android so this might be a Little harder to get used to for me. We we'll just add it for breakfast For yeah for time's sake, we're just gonna scan it so there's the barcode on there. All right. And then it's gonna ask us how many servings. We only did one serving. So we're just gonna check. And then that's it. So that's added on there. So now that's added uh, on our total days. Now we're, what we're gonna do is add some berries and we're gonna do, um, we'll see how much it is, but we'll probably do half serving or one serving. So one serving of this, which is 140 grams, is 16 carbs and two protein. All right, so we're just gonna put it in a different plate actually. So since we just threw it on there, it's gonna give us some funky measurement. It's basically just measuring the bowl and we're gonna hit on or tear to clear it. That's gonna put that back to zero. Now go ahead and pour till it says uh, 140 on there. close enough uh, now if we measured uh, 70 we would just do 0.5 of what I'm about to show you so now what this bowl basically means is we now have 16 carbs 2 protein in our uh, in our daily macronutrients all right again we're going to add this on my fitness pal And again, for time's sake, yeah, we'll just scan it. Yeah, 
Yeah, scanning it makes it nice and easy. So again, guys, it says one cup is 140 grams. If we measured 70 grams, for example, that's half. So what I would do if I measured that is I would do uh, 0.5 and then that would be that. But we didn't do that. We actually had one, one cup. One cup right here. All right, and then we would add that. And now that's, so now we have one serving of the uh, Greek yogurt and one serving of the berries. Last thing we're gonna add is, um, what is this, Special K protein. So Special K protein has, per 31 grams, it has one gram of fat, what is that, 22 carbs, and seven protein. Okay, so again, we're gonna turn the scale on and basically just pour until it says uh, 31 on there. Perfect, oh, 30. All right, so 30, 31, close enough. Now that, now if we add this on to my fitness pill, again, we'll use the scan button. Yeah, so the, the scan, again, if we did like 15 or 16 grams, we could put half, but we did a full serving. So we're gonna add that in there. So there's our meal, guys. We have uh, we have our blueberries. There we go. I think I put more than one serving on the berries. So let's adjust that. That's good to know. And you I just put... click on it. Yeah. So all you do is you would just click here for the servings, and that's based on how many you've brought in. And again, like. So that was the berry. So if you did, um, if you did half of that, seventy grams of whatever the serving size is, 0.1. yeah, point five, because it's half. <clears throat> okay, so there's our uh, there's our meal. So one cup of the Greek yogurt, one serving of the cereal, and one serving of the berries. And you got yourself a nice little snack here, I believe, on my fitness pal. Yeah, that's that's the cool thing. So on my fitness pal on um, iPhone, if you turn it to the side, it actually tells you the macronutrient breakdown. So you can see that whole meal was is 62 carbs, 21 fat, and 77 protein. Um, so this meal right here with the cereal, uh, with the berries, and the Greek yogurt is uh, 177 protein. Or sorry, uh, it, are those macros? Now if you have uh, if you have like Walden Farms or if you have uh, any kind of like low calorie syrup, you can add that on there as well and, you know, make it a little bit more flavorful. But this is probably going to be pretty sweet and satisfied like a, a sweet tooth craving. So that's how you add that stuff, guys. Um, might do another video like later on down the road or I'll just put the link in my description of, um, of the MyFitnessPal video I made a while ago for like chicken and how to add that but that's how to add uh some some basic stuff and how to use a scale how to use scale 101 all right guys i'll see you in a bit all right guys so that was my good friend enrique kike for short uh i've known him for a long time and he uh he's got a lot of muscle i've always he's just um uh, comes from a, an athletic background he played softball baseball basketball you know everything kind of growing up and he's just solid he's a solid dude and he's transformed before i'll see if i could find his other transformation pictures when um him and i went like really kind of hardcore and bro dieted pretty hard but he's uh you know he's strong he's i think he's sitting somewhere around like 240 right now and um, I think him at like 215, 220, 
you know, he'd be, and I think he's been there before, but he'd be looking pretty solid as far as with like bro diet eating, eating every two hours and whatnot. It works, but uh, you don't really know what you're taking in. So some weeks might be more frustrating than others. You might plateau. You might be losing too much weight one week, not enough another week. And, and you know, cutting into too much muscle or just doing it slower than, than you need to. Um, but hopefully, uh, you know, he kind of goes along the way. And if you're new to macros or macro counting, it can be really frustrating. If you, uh, if you are not, um, you know, if you just don't have the knowledge, it could be really frustrating. It seems so easy once you get it down. But if you don't have the knowledge, it could be really frustrating. I had him kind of try it out on his own uh, last week. And, you know, he was getting flustered, I could tell, just by talking to him and over text. But uh, I'm going to do more of a hands-on approach. And, and uh, hopefully, you know, he'll be making some gains. So that's, uh, that's that. And that's what we got for this meal. Just uh, some chicken. I cut up some uh, chicken leg quarters, rice, and uh, just some soy sauce on there. So this is probably going to conclude the video, unless I remember to um, record the other meals. If not, I'll, uh, I'll see you probably tomorrow. I'm gonna get some All right. Now who gonna stop me? Who gonna stop me? Huh? Who gonna stop me?